Now let's uh, look at the weather forecast in Elizabeth, another lovely day for us. <laughs> Yeah, certainly has been a sad day four here at Wimbledon. We've got away with a dry one, although there have been some showers elsewhere. But the heat has certainly been on, particularly for the British ladies. Now, Johanna Conta and Katie Bolter sadly went out today, but we do still have Kyle Edmonds playing on centre court at the moment. That's just over to my left. And of course, there is still the football on Saturday too. Now, it's been a warm one, 28 degrees Celsius here, 29 in a few other London spots. And tomorrow, it could be even a touch warmer. We might just get 30 degrees Celsius. It's likely to stay dry. There'll be more spells of sunshine. So this is what happened earlier on today. So you can see there were some showers around. They tended to be towards parts of Surrey and Kent, where they were quite torrential, actually, in places. But those showers will fade away through this evening. There will be some cloud around, of course, particularly out towards eastern areas. But what you'll really notice about tonight is just how muggy and swampy it's feeling. And there'll be lots of moisture in the air. And it is going to be a very warm start to the day tomorrow, 16 or 17 degrees Celsius still in central London. So let's take a look at tomorrow then. Now there'll still be some cloud, I think, first thing out towards eastern areas, but lots of sunshine to start the day elsewhere. The cloud will thin and break, and I think most places will get up into the high 20s in Celsius, some spots even 30 degrees. Now there could be some showers over parts of Sussex, but I think for the vast majority of us, it is likely to be a dry day. And then over the weekend, temperatures likely to stay at around 30 degrees Celsius on Saturday and then on Sunday we might even see 32 degrees. If you're watching the football somewhere outdoors on Saturday it's such a cliche but don't forget the sunscreen there'll be a lot of sunshine around as you can see temperatures dipping off slightly as we head into next week but then possibly building again by the time we get to the end of next week. What we're not really going to see unless you've seen some today is any rain in the forecast I said. Okay Elizabeth thanks very much uh, for that.